Lim okay, limitations in uh, logistical capacity can be as even cycles, so that you can, can manage your system in, in even rounds per day or week or, or how, how you like to set it up. Uh, you maybe can come to a situation where you need extra pulling capacity to make it work. And also it can be a real bottleneck on the railway if you don't have enough available slot times. And uh, uh, in this case, a, a, a big, very important thing is to, that you can increase your payload, get down the care rate of the wagon. Uh, for the two, these two, and for the first one, it's maybe terminal time, so the speed you're operating the train, and uh, the risk you're getting if you have uneven cycles. The most important thing in the logistic, logistic chain is the, the locomotive. So it often ends up that so you can be able to push as much as you need on your your round trip. You maybe need a spare train set, so you can use parallel times. You can load it, but still the the engine is, is pulling your wagons. In that case, you can, can select a system that really optimizes the wagons and terminal times and so on to the, to the round trips for the locomotive, and you don't need that spare train set. Uh, another thing that can be if you can adjust your system to come to, to even cycles for the time the period, you don't have to have schedules for your staff or everything operating the system that will be, be moved forward always. You can go on, on, on even schedules every day, every week and so on, so it's uh, easier to plan everything around the system. Uh, extra pooling capacity, we know for, for example that it sets a, a diagram connected to that one. So the, the cost in the system says if you just have your engine here and you don't have any wagon, of course it will be a, an infinite cost, but if you put one wagon on it, you will have a curve going down when you add up wagons, but in the end you come somewhere where you need to put an extra engine, an extra locomotive in the, in the system. And then, of course, the cost climbs again, and then you add up extra wagons. If you... Cost, you can say cost per train or cost per ton or what, whatever real, but uh, it just puts up when you put on the engine, you really add up your cost. And if you, but if you work with a an, with an low tail rate of the wagon, the lower you go, the more you can put that level further then. So if you just need a, a small increase in, in volume to manage your production, you should really go for a low tail rate on the wagon instead of put on an extra engine because it works, it's way more expensive. Uh, we also have seen systems where, where you, you set it up that only uh, if you have a complex logistics system where you end up to have locomotives going in several directions it's often more cost efficient to optimize it for the engines instead of the number of wagons. So you have to consider that one also. You maybe put an extra train set and go back to the problem where you even cycles because it's still it's, it's more cost efficient than, than operating the locomotive in, in, in an efficient way. So it's a complex uh, system that also have to con consider. And then, of course, the most crucial thing is we come down where your, your railway really is the bottleneck. You don't have available slot times to, to manage everything you can produce in your mind and you can really sell to your, your customer. Then it is a classic bottleneck and you can, can really make a lot of extra money if you can, can have a, a lower tail rate on the wagon and push more on your railway. So, that's three things. And uh, also we can see, to touch on that one, we can see some challenges around the world when we are, are promoting our, our uh, wagon systems out there. And uh, a very crucial thing is really capacity in, in uh, terminal times and efficiency in, in terminal times and also safety in terminal times. So we are really using that on, on our own behalf to, to increase our, uh, to design our systems so they are really safe in terminal times, this uh, robust system, uh, you can really rely about, rely about it so the terminal times will be very efficient with a high productivity and a very low risk for, for people to get uh, injured. So in that case, for example, we have our, our turn down the system, we have a pre-programmed uh, uh, say position of the wagon where you can clean it with a machine instead of having people climbing in the in the pit for the wagon, and uh, the risk is that they get material over them, or or they fall down in the pit. 
Uh, we have another thing that is, is uh, a problem in, in railway. Uh, we, uh, anyway, we think that you maybe look too much on the life length on your system. So often you design a wagon for a 30 year life length. And uh, then you end up to have a very, very, maybe say, not, in time, not an optimized system because who knows what to transport in the next 30 years. Maybe it's, uh, it's, uh, you, are, you are doing, I don't know today, but in 15 years you build a steel plant. Then you need a totally different type of wagon, but you still have 15 years left on your, your wagon when you are up in full production in your steel plant. And also you must build a wagon more, more heavier in that case, because it would last for those 30 years. So that's a challenge to make a flexible solution where you can really get more. You can get more flexibility into the wagon and, uh, and not focus so much on, on the life length on it. Also, also in, in the mining industry, we know that the life length of mines uh, goes down to to the average maybe 10 to 15 years today, but the this was made up to 50 years. So then, also if you invest in your mine, you shouldn't maybe set everything for. for Take those extra cost cost type of wagon that lasts for 30 years when you still are operating a mine for, for 10 to 15 years. Uh, also, have the one challenge that really comes back a little bit more tough. It is that uh, the, the regulations and so on how to design a wagon today is quite uh, quite uh, strict and gives a lot of, of limitations in how you can design. It's a lot of standardized things that is really put into the laws how to design a wagon. And uh, that's the challenge for us, so we're working with that every day.